Hello, it is Ironhead41. We are going to make a gumbo Ironhead style. <laughs> uh, first, uh, I'm going to brown three or four tablespoons of flour in the frying pan and go ahead and de-weevil a cup of rice and put it in water and let it be soaking. All right, now I got my flour browned, nice and brown, beautiful, it smells like popcorn. I'm going to make a roux with it. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of bacon grease. Just like a soap. And let's make a nice dark brown roux. A paste. <laughs> I'm going to need more bacon grease. On low heat, just nice and slow. I don't that brown flour make a beautiful roux. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that paste. Simple and easy. This is the easiest roux you'll ever make. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Let's get it out. All right, the finished product. What a beautiful roux. And this took uh, under 30 minutes. All right, a good gumbo has to be cooked in a certain order. Everything does. First, I got a pot, two quarts of water, and I'm gonna put two chicken breasts in it. And I'm gonna boil them just for about five minutes. I don't want them done. I just want some of the fat to, to boil off of it to make the chicken stock that is for the gumbo. All right, while that chicken there is going, uh, I got another pot. I'm going to go ahead and soft boil about, that's about a pound, pound and a half of chicken hearts, just hearts, and some salt water. I'm going to boil these about 15 minutes. All right, while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up a beef roast into beef stew, some big hunks. Uh, beef doesn't have to be really big, about about one inch squares, because they don't cook down as much as pork would. So the pork, when you cut it up, you would want it much larger. All right, now I got my beef cut up. I'm gonna cut up about uh, two pounds of pork chops, like uh, so, in chunks. And then I'm gonna have to wash the cutting board after I cut these pork chops up. Alright, now my two chicken breast has boiled long enough. Uh, I, I suggest never using uh, dark meat in a gumbo because dark meat chicken, it doesn't absorb the uh, spices and, and the flavors that goes in it. Now white meat will soak it right up. I'm going to uh, debone the breast and get them cut up into chunks. <laughs> Alright, while the chicken is cooling off, now I am ready to add about a pound and a half of this beef. Now, I'm not putting it off because I'm making two different gumbos. One for my wife because she don't like rice in hers. She wants cabbage and I want rice in mine. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and season it up with some Tony Chacherese. Do not be, don't be too generous with the Tony Chacherese at first because it, it is spicy and hot. So put about a tablespoon first because you can taste it as you go and add a little more if it ain't quite hot enough for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour about, about an eighth of a cup of Texas peat in it. Don't put too much because you'll get it too hot. Like I said, you can always add later. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to let this beef boil for about 30 minutes. Alright, now it's time to start my pot. <laughs> I got two quarts of water. I'm going to add some salt. Uh, about a good tablespoon of salt, and of course some Tony Chacherese. Now I don't mind putting too much in mine to get it too hot. So I'm going to put about three good tablespoons of Chacherese. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of Texas Pete. 
some crushed red peppers, about two or three good tablespoons, and canned home jalapenos. Hot peppers about, I don't know, I'm going to put about three heaping tablespoons, almost a half a pint. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and add the, the other half a pound of beef and let that boil for about 30 minutes. All right, the beef's been cooking 30 minutes. I've turned it down. Now I'm going to add about a half a jar of can home canned tomatoes to hers and then add the rest to mine. Uh, to her, she likes uh, mushrooms. She gets a can of mushrooms in hers and she gets a can of hominy to hers. And I get black beans in mine. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Alright, after adding the hominy to my wife's, I'm going to add a half a head of cabbage. I don't know how many pounds. This is a good size head. I'm going to go ahead and add some cabbage, get that start to cook down. As you notice, I have not put the pork or the chicken or the okra in this yet. That goes in very, very last. And we're not doing any seafood in hers, but I am putting crawfish in mine. Alrighty. Get this cabbage in here, like a so. And let's cover it up and let that cabbage steam on down. Alright, now while that's doing its thing, we're going to have a PBR. Got the seven of clubs. Man, that sucks. Mm. Mm. Uh, chase it with some good old coffee. Mm. Mm. Ooh wee! <laughs> All right. Now that the cabbage is cooked down about five minutes or so, I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken. The, this is the breast that we uh, cooked earlier. You want to put your chicken in last, cause it'll shrink up to nothing. Add a add your okra, like uh, so. And let's go ahead and add the pork. Uh, I'm going to add about a pound and a half of pork to it. Like a so, because the other half goes in mine. Let me get that stirred in. I mean, it makes a pot full now. I'm going to grant you that. You just cannot make a small gumbo. It's just impossible. Time you add everything but the kitchen sink. Uh, <laughs> You got a you got a trough. Oh man! Now hers she won't get no thick. Hers is done. All this has to do is cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, and it is completely finished. That's the way she likes it. All right, now hers is done. My beef's been boiling about 30 minutes with the black beans. Now I've drained that cup of rice, and I'm gonna add it to mine, just like a soap, and it is de-weevilled. <laughs> but for this one, I will have to stir. Oh, let's not get the wrong spoon. I'll have to keep this rice stirred every minute or two because that rice will absorb some of this juice and it'll tighten on down. Alright, now that my rice is almost done, they don't like much, isn't that just beautiful? I'm ready to go ahead and add a bag of whole okra. I like whole okra in mine, not cut up. Let's cut up okra if you overcook it. It just fall apart. There won't be nothing left of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add these chicken hearts to it, like a so. And now I'll let this cook for about five minutes. And then we'll add our, fi our finishing touches. All right, now for dessert, this is a can of the Arkansas black apples I canned a year or two ago. We're going to just put it in a pot. Oh man, that smells good. <laughs> mm. We're just going to heat that up and make a pan of biscuits to go with it. That's dessert. Yummy. <laughs> Alright, now that mine is uh, almost done, I'm ready to add about a half a pound of pork chunks. And I'm going to go ahead and add about one pound of crawfish tails. These are delicious. Alright. Okra is starting to get good and tender. 
let's get that stirred in. I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes and then we're going to add some root. Alright, that's been boiling about five minutes. Now I'm ready to add this quick and easy delicious root. Let's just drop it in there like a so. I'm going to mix it up, stir it in. Well, that's going to really thicken this sucker up and give it that good flavor. Like uh, so. Now I'm ready to turn this down and just let it simmer for about 15-20 minutes. Just nice and easy and let it thicken on up. Mm. And then we'll fix you a plate. Alright, now we got everything done. Let's fix us a bowl here of this good old gumbo. Oh, and it thickened up ever so nice. Oh, man. Isn't that beautiful? And let's get us some of these apples. I didn't add anything to them, just straight out of the jar, heated them up, and some homemade biscuits. Oh man, ain't that beautiful? Mmm, I want one of them chicken hearts. Oh, there's one right there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Now, PBR. Mm. Easy gumbo. Gumbo, you, all you need is okra and a root and anything you want to throw in the pot. <laughs> well, that's it.